Hey everybody, welcome to another Good E-Reader video. This is Marcus. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your Kobo Wireless E-Reader. Now here's the Kobo Wireless E-Reader. And we're going to show you various programs such as Adobe Digital Editions, Caliber, the Kobo Desktop Software, and good old Windows Explorer. Now of course, if you're connected via Wi-Fi, you can shop directly on Kobo via the shop button and you can purchase ebooks, magazines, and newspapers. The purpose of this video is to teach you how to copy ebooks that you've downloaded outside of Kobo. So whether you've bought in the books from an ebook store such as Borders, Barnes and Noble, Smashwords, or other bookstores that sell ebooks in EPUB format, you can copy them to your Kobo, as well as if you've downloaded books from the web or from the internet in EPUB format or other formats, we're gonna teach you what to do in order to copy them to your Kobo. Now, the first thing that you need is, of course, a Kobo wireless, and you'll need to plug it in via USB to the bottom port here. Uh, once, once that's done, the red light will come on telling you that it is, of course, plugged into your computer. Now, the first program that we're going to show you is Calibre. Now, Calibre is a free program that's a downloadable from uh, the web. And once you've installed it, it's about a 20 megabit file. It's an ebook management software program. So, we've added a book here, Dead or Alive by Tom Clancy. Now, you can see here that there's a Kobo icon there. That's an indication a Kobo e-reader is readable by Calibre. Now, we're on the library format now, and the purpose of this is to edit things such as the metadata, and what that means is changing the title of the book, changing the author name, changing the author sort, so you can see that we have it here with the, the last name first, first name second, although some people like it the other way around. Why you would want to do this is, of course, sometimes when you download books from the internet, the titles are all wonky, or the author's name will be the book uploader's name, so this gives you a wider range of management. Uh, you could, of course, change the cover art if you want to, as well as converting non-digital rights management books or books that don't have DRM attached to it from one format to another and you can do that by going by right clicking on here going to convert ebooks and then convert individually and then you can see at the top here that it lists the output format the ebook is an EPUB format so if you want to convert it to lit, LRF, Mobi PDF, RTF, text, and so on. You can do that here. And then once you've selected the format, say you wanted to do it to a Kindle format, which is Mobi, you can simply press OK and it'll convert the EPUB to that format. We're not going to do that now, but we just wanted to give you a general overview of if you've downloaded a book that's not an EPUB, that's say a Mobi file or an LIT or LRF file, you can convert that to EPUB. And EPUB, of course, is the file format of choice for the Kobo e-reader as well as the Kobo wireless. So in order to copy a book to our Kobo, what you got to do is click on the Kobo icon here and you'll see a ton of books here. Of course, the Kobo e-reader and the Kobo wireless both come with 100 free classic ebooks. And in order to add an ebook to your Kobo, all you have to do is click on the icon here, which is Add Books. And you can add it from a single directory. All you simply do is browse your computer to find the books that you want to add. Once you do that, the books will automatically appear at the top. As you can see, we've already added Dead or Alive by Tom Clancy. And once you've imported the books or added the books to here, there's no syncing involved. They're automatically copied to your e-reader. And we'll just simply verify just to show you the process involved. So you can see here that it is syncing the new content that we copied. And you can see here that you want to go to books. 
Now, we just wanted to show you one of the things here on the author sort. It's alphabetical, uh, A to A to Z basically, and it does not sort by the author name, but instead the Kobo sorts by the book title. So because Dead or Alive starts with a D, you want to browse to the D section. And then you can see here that, of course, here's our ebook, Dead or Alive by Tom Clancy. So we're just going to simply click on the button here, and it's going to load the book up for us. And uh, here's the book. So we have verified that the book is copied to our e-reader. So now we're going to show you how to use Adobe Digital Editions in order to copy ebooks to your Kobo. So we're going to plug this back in via the USB cable. And now you can see here that it'll ask you if you want to keep on reading or manage your library. We want to manage our library because that's how the computer and the Kobo sync up to each other. And you simply just press uh, the middle button here. And the red light will be on, giving an indication that it is plugged into your computer. So we're going to minimize this right now. Minimize that. Load up a digital, Adobe Digital Editions. Now, Adobe Digital Editions is a free download. And the essence of Adobe Digital Editions is for books that you've bought from other stores. So caliber that we used was books that you've just downloaded from the internet or books that do not have digital rights management you would use Adobe Digital Editions if it does have digital rights management. Of course, when you purchase ebooks from other stores, uh, such as Borders, Barnes & Noble, and so on, they're all encrypted. And in order to copy encrypted files to your e-reader, you have to use Adobe Digital Editions. Now, this is what the screen will look like when you first load it up and install it. All you simply do is click on the Library tab here. You get a drop-down menu. We want to add an item to a library. Again, you simply browse your computer to find the book. And then once you've uh, selected it, then it'll appear here. And we have the book here, Unforgiven by Laura Griffin. Now you can see here that the Kobo e-reader is synced up. So you can see here, this is the first book that we copied via Caliber, the Tom Clancy book, as well as the Kobo user guide. So what we want to do is get this book on the Kobo. Simply left click and you could move the book around. And what you want to do is just simply drop it onto your Kobo. It's copying the documents. And here it is. It's now on the Kobo e-reader. There's no other syncing or other steps involved. As soon as you just simply drag and drop it from here to your Kobo, it is on your Kobo e-reader. So again, we just want to verify that it is, of course, on our Kobo e-reader. And uh, we're just verifying just so you guys know that what we're doing is, you know, the correct procedure. Of course, Kobo usually takes a, like a few seconds to sync new content. Other e-readers certainly take a lot longer. So of course, we want to click on books again. And we want to sort up to the alphabetical because the book started with U for Unforgiven. We want to go to alphabetical sort for U. And you can see here that is, of course, on the e-reader here, Unforgiven. And we're just going to click on this. Of course, with Kobo, you always get the little parables or quotes. And uh, here we go. It's uh, now copied to our e-reader. And we just flip to the next page by hitting the little D-pad here. So we've just verified that Adobe Digital Editions transfer has been successful, as well as Calibre. Now the next thing that we're going to do is show you how to do it via Windows Explorer. And this is the simplest method. So again, we're going to plug this back in. And manage the library. 
Uh, once you press that button, it does take a few seconds in order for the transfer to be there. And we've just heard our computer buzz as well as the connected screen, so we're going to put this down again. And it's going to ask you where you want to find the, you know, the standard autoplay. We're going to close that. Now with Windows Explorer, it's very simple in order to copy it to your Kobo. We can see here that we do have an ebooks uh, directory here. And the ebook that we have here is Night of the Vampires by Heather Graham. And all we want to do is, of course, right click and click copy. And you can see here that Kobo is on our G drive. So we're going to click on that. And again, this is through Windows Explorer. And you can see here that this is the Dead or Alive by Tom Clancy as well as you'll see here a directory called Adobe Digital Editions. And you can see here another directory called Digital Editions. And of course, Digital Editions directory and not this directory, which is dot Adobe Digital Editions. Dot Adobe Digital Editions, you don't want to mess with that. But any book that you use Adobe Digital Editions for will be in the Digital Editions folder. And you can see here that that's there. Uh, if you wanted to remove it from your Kobo, you can simply right click and delete it. But we simply just want to right click and click paste. We simply just did a, a copy paste job. And now doing it this way, it's on your e-reader. Now you would use Windows Explorer to transfer books like this if you already knew that the cover art was perfect, that the author name was perfect and you didn't really need to edit any of the the details via caliber we know that this version was a perfect version so we did this uh, simply as a means to show you guys another way to do it and this is the most common way that people normally copy ebooks to their e-readers a lot of people are just unaware that programs like caliber exist in order to uh, help you manage your e-reader and ebooks more effectively so now that we've simply just copy pasted again we just want to verify that you know the process worked Now, of course, this is the Kobo Wireless White Edition. It does come in black, lilac, and other colors as well. So we want to click on books again. And Night of the Vampires, of course, begins with N. Not only are we teaching you how to copy ebooks, but we're also giving you a bit of an alphabet lesson here. You can see the Kobo is pretty sensitive, so we're just going to re-click on N here. And you can see it's worked. Night of the Vampires by Heather Graham. We're simply going to hit the middle button here. And here we go. There's uh, the ebook. So the final thing that we want to show you that's not really indicative to the tutorial, which the basis of this tutorial was buying books outside of Kobo and copying them to your Kobo e-reader. We just want to show you that quickly before we end the tutorial here, the Kobo desktop software. I'm simply going to put this down again. The Kobo desktop software is a good uh, so desktop management software if you actually use this to buy books from Kobo or if you buy books from Kobo. Uh, the desktop management software is available via kobobooks.com and you can see here that we do have one book, Bram Stoker's Dracula. You need to register an account but you could register the account via the Adobe or the Kobo desktop software as well as on the web via kobobooks.com. Uh, here you could, you know, check out stuff like the top 50 
you can browse categories, recommended reading. Once you purchase books through here, they'll appear here. And then once your Kobo is plugged in, you can hit, hit the sync button right here and it'll sync every book here directly to your Kobo. And then obviously appear in an alphabetical order. And you could, you know, buy newspapers and things like that. But you could also read the eBooks directly through the desktop. So if you have, uh, you know, uh, a computer, if you have a netbook, a laptop, you can use it to read it here. And click here, go back to library. So there's a ribbon here giving the indication that we are, you know, we, we are on page three or four here. So if you were to open up the book again, we're automatically on page seven. So of course, if you do purchase books through Kobo, you can use any of the Kobo applications. So they have an iPad, iPhone, Android, Blackberry application. So if you do business with Kobo, they do make it very accessible to be able to just not read books on your Kobo e-reader, but they also allow you to be able to read that same book on any of your devices. So that's one of the real benefits of doing business and buying your eBooks directly through Kobo. Uh, one of the drawbacks of buying books through Kobo is some books, especially uh, bestsellers, are expensive. So such as the, the new James Patterson book, Crossfire, 